Hello, my name is Kyle Mackey, EV Field Service Manager for Navistar Next E-Mobility Solutions. Today we're going to talk about how to drive and operate your brand new international EMV. Let's go. Now that we're inside the new EMV, we're going to go through the startup and run procedure. First you want to do is take the key and put it in the ignition cylinder. Turn it over to the on position. At this point you're going to hear the system do several checks. I like to put my seatbelt on during this time. Once my seatbelt's on, I get my seat adjusted correctly. Now we can adjust our mirrors to get them in the appropriate position. Now that we're ready, we can put our foot on the brake and turn the key to the traditional crank position. You'll hear several pumps come on. And also the key thing here is we're looking for the green indicator saying we're good to go. Once you have your green good to go light, apply your foot on the service brake, choose your desired gear, and push in the parking brake. Let's go. At the top of the cluster, you have two indicators for your primary and secondary air tanks. On the left side of your cluster is a propulsion gauge. This shows power going out and coming back into your high voltage system. Next to that is your charge indicator. This gives our battery state of charge and percentage and distance till empty. On the right side of the cluster, you will notice your traditional speedometer as well as your 12 volt battery indicator. We have our drive motor gear indicator, reverse neutral drive. We also have a regenerative braking gauge, one, two, three our drive motor temperature, as well as our battery temperature. Let's talk about regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is best described as an electric parachute or like an engine retarder on a diesel truck today. What I'd like to think about is when I let out of the throttle, I'm not immediately letting out. I'm actually gonna blend the throttle out. You'll feel the vehicle slow down. What this is doing is this is capturing energy from the motor and putting it back into the battery. The EMV has a selectable three different modes on the dash that is available to select while driving. Level one is 33%, two is 66, and three is 100% available power regenerative back into the battery. We really recommend leaving a level three to get the most efficiency, as well as give the best one pedal style driving. Once the vehicle slows down to about two or three miles an hour, you're gonna have to apply the traditional brakes. This is best for efficiency. This is always also gonna help with our maintenance of our brakes. But the best part is it's really gonna help the range and the driving of the vehicle. The brake lights will be automatically illuminated to allow the drivers behind you to know you're slowing down. If you leave the yard at 100% state of charge, you may not feel regenerative braking at first. But don't worry, as you deplete the battery, the fuel will start to blend back in throughout the route. If you find yourself in an accident, please turn off your high voltage and your low voltage switches. If first responders are on scene, please let them know the master service disconnects are right here in front of the rear axle. If you need to tow your EMV, we recommend that you lift it from the rear. If you have to pick it up from the front, you must remove the drive shaft. Now we're going to talk about charging your EMV. First thing you want to do is open the charge port door. Now you want to take your charge handle and plug it in. You're first going to see a blue light. That means there's communication happening. A yellow light means that it's initializing with the charger. And then you'll see a green light flashing at various speeds depending on the level of charge. The slower the flash, the closer to the top it is to being full. Now if you see a red light, that means charging is not happening and we need to communicate with our service manager as soon as possible. To stop charging, what you're gonna to wanna to do is press this button here. Cable's released, the light turns blue, and now you can remove the handle. In case of emergency, you can pull on the cable to release the handle. Please keep in mind our EMV is AC and DC charge capable. The vehicle will not drive away when the charger's plugged in and also, you can check the charging status, including estimated time remaining, as well as the current state of charge, by looking at the cluster. Thank you for watching today's video. 
If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local international truck dealer.